Hello friends, in the last video, we started learning evolution. We discussed about definition of evolution. Then we also learnt about the salient features of evolution. We also discussed some theories of evolution. We discussed Lamarckism and its criticism. And also we discussed about Darwinism. You can refer my video. The link is given in the description box. So from Darwinism, we became familiar with the theory of natural selection. But there was certain criticism of Darwinism. He was not able to explain the causes of variation. Hence, the theory of natural selection was reviewed in the light of genetics. And then came the new Darwinism or modern synthetic theory. So, Darwinism and Mendelism are framework or base of new Darwinism. This new Darwinism, it is a combination of mutations, variations, heredity, isolation and natural selection. According to this, there are certain bases of origin of species. We will discuss this one by one. First is genetic variability in population. So what is population? It is a group of individual that live together in a geographical area and these freely interbreed. So there is a total gene content of the population which includes the genes of individuals and this together is known as gene pool. Members of population share same gene pool and they interbreed. So they have gene flow or there is exchange of gene between each other. If due to some causes or reason, gene pool of population changes, then it becomes diverse or different from other sister population of a species. This lead to generation of new species or modification of older ones. Now let us see the causes of genetic variation. First, we will discuss at the individual level. So at the individual level, the genetic variation is the changes in the genes of gametes and this is essential for evolution and how it is introduced it is introduced by gene mutations what is gene mutation it is changes in the chemical and structural composition of genes it can occur naturally or it can be induced artificially then the recombination of the genes. Recombination means reshuffling or mixing of the genes. This results in the new combination of the genes. And this occurs in following ways. First is by fertilization. During the sexual reproduction, gametes are produced. When the male and the female gametes fuses to produce the zygote, then it results in the reshuffling or mixing of the genes and hence the offspring that is obtained has the new combination which is different from both the parents. Then meiosis. During the gamete formation, female and the male chromosome assort independently of each other and this results in the new combinations. This is known as independent assortment and in this way also the recombination of genes occur. We have already discussed this independent assortment under the meiosis topic. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. By crossing over, it is the exchange of part between non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosome. It occurs in the packetin stage of meiosis. And this also results in the new combination or recombination of the genes. We have already discussed crossing over in meiosis topic. Now let us see the cause of genetic variation at the level of population. This occurs by the chromosomal aberration which is the change in the structure of the chromosome. 
then it also occurs by the change in the number of the chromosome which is known as euploidy this chromosomal aberration and euploidy we have already discussed in genetics under separate topics you can refer my video the link is given in the description box and the third is hybridization it is intermingling of genes of two populations of a species or between individuals of two species which otherwise do not freely interbreed example is mule it is hybrid between horse and donkey now what is the significance of genetic variability or adaptation so we have already seen that population increases exponentially but other factors remain constant so in order to survive there is the competition between individuals of a population this is known as struggle for existence and in this only the well adapted organisms survive and how some of the individuals are well adapted compared to the other this is due to the genetic variation causes of genetic variations we have already discussed above so these genetic variation which are of adaptive value or the individuals which have the genetic variation which help them to be well adapted to the particular environment are selected and then these reproduces or multiply and produces their offspring third is natural selection it includes forces physical and biotic factors which determine the changes in the individual or the organism organisms better suited survive and reproduce and the raw materials of natural selection are variations and mutations these help in obtaining the better adapted ones that means individual which have the variations and mutations which makes them suitable to survive are better adapted and these are selected natural selection operates through differential reproduction because the individuals which are selected these reproduces and produces as offspring hence certain mutational changes or variations establish themselves now fourth is genetic drift it plays an important role in the small population natural selection has less role in the small population what is genetic drift it is sudden change in gene frequency to one or the other side it is also called as civil right effect because it was proposed by civil right sometimes unfavorable characters are also fixed because there is sudden change in the gene frequency and population tends to become homozygous deletion of the harmful genes or deleterious gene if homozygous because if the individual has the deleterious or harmful gene in the homozygous state then it dies and hence there is the deletion of this gene so when the small population is isolated from the bulk population it becomes more genetically diversified because some of the characters are fixed and some are lost and hence these become more genetically diversified so now fifth is isolation it is segregation or separation of individual of a species into populations or groups it is responsible for evolution two factors of isolation are geographical isolation these are physical barriers like rivers oceans mountains etc and these prevent interbreeding between related forms second is physiological barrier this does not allow interbreeding among different species in order to maintain the individuality of the species and these two leads to reproductive isolation so let us conclude the origin of species population of the species when it is present in different environment it is separated by barriers like physical geographical barriers which results in the accumulation of mutations and these become morphologically and genetically different also these become reproductively isolated because now these interbreed among each other but not to the related species and hence form new species now let us see comparison between darwinism and neo darwinism the basic theory of darwinism is natural selection neo darwinism is the advanced form of 
Darwinism. According to Darwinism, unit of evolution is species, but in Neo-Darwinism, unit of evolution is population. According to Darwinism, individuals evolve, but according to Neo-Darwinism, gene pool evolves. According to Darwinism, natural selection is the survival of the fittest or the better adapted individual. But according to Neo-Darwinism, natural selection is differential reproduction of genotypes and genes because the adapted individual only reproduces and produces its offspring. In Darwinism, reason for variations are not known. But according to Neo-Darwinism, variation results from mutations and recombinations. Darwinism emphasizes on struggle for existence and this causes evolution. According to Neo-Darwinism, chance factor also is important in evolution. So this is all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.